Hi, I'm Kiara Collins and you're watching Young Alberni. Port Alberni is known for many amazing things, but there's one thing that not many people know about and it's our talented youth in our community and that's what Young Alberni is focusing on. In this week's episode, we'll be taking a look at the new up and coming band in Port Alberni, Stranger Than Fiction, with their two singles, Minuteman and Something Like Home. Let's take a look. Stranger Than Fiction has like become my family. Like we've been together for almost three years, and uh, we we've recorded together and we're writing all this music and we played so many shows and they all really mean a lot to me and we've become such good friends over the years and that's why it feels like a family. Stranger Than has like helped me a lot with discovering what I like to do in music. Or, like it, it's opened a lot of doors for me and give me a lot of leeway to express myself creatively and you know explore my passion for music more. Fiction is mostly just like an outlet for all of us to get all of our because we don't really have another place to play music. In Port Alberni, there's not a lot of opportunities for young musicians, so it's very fortunate that we have this band to be a part of and we have all these opportunities to release music and show our art. Being an STF and just, you know, playing however many gigs that I've played with them over the past couple of years has really, really taught me a lot about music and just, you know, being in a band in general. I got into music when I was about, I remember when I was eight, I was driving the car with my dad and he was uh, playing some Beethoven. On, uh, on our radio when we were just driving. And I was like, hey, I really want to learn that. So I started taking piano lessons around them and I just uh, stuck with it until then. Um, coming from a classical background and playing like piano, when it, when it came to like doing rock music, it was, it, it was a very different learning experience for me because I was used to playing complex, like uh, singular note structures and just going like, crazy on the piano up and down. And then I come here playing rock and it's just a bunch of chords. But I think that's really cool because you, you, you can do, you be a lot more, um, in my mind, emotional, like stuck in the funk and rock, which I really appreciate. I, mean, I started out just, I had the itch to play it. Like, I, I started out on guitar and then I got a piano and, and I got a drum kit when I was like 13 or something. And, um, it just really started from there, and I just, you know, learned music on my own, sitting at home looking at a computer, stuff like that, and I just started to connect with people that were also musicians, and I'd get together and jam with them. I got involved with music initially through just playing with the school band, but also through my dad teaching me how to play guitar, and I played in my school's talent show in elementary school, and then Todd Flero, he came and knocked on my door one night and uh, asked me if I wanted to come out to this music thing he was starting and I said sure and my mom really encouraged me to go so I went and it was Alberni Teens Can Rock and we practiced and put on a big show and now it's where I am today. People ask me why did you start playing music and this is what I tell them. Um, when I was in grade five my parents showed me Wayne's World and they said that I looked like Garth. So I started playing drums because I wanted to be like Garth Algar. Um, and then after that, I started playing guitar and singing and doing more instruments and stuff because of Wayne's World mostly, which is really sad. Well, after quitting piano lessons, after a few years, I started getting into uh, rock bands after listening from my dad in the car. And um, when I was eight, my dad decided to buy 
guitar for Christmas, just to see where I would go with it, see if I would like it. And so I just picked it up and I just really liked it. Um, I asked for a guitar for my birthday because it, uh, it looked pretty cool. I thought it looked cooler than playing the drums or the bass, and I didn't even really know what the bass was. And I didn't really pay attention to drums, but I kind of just always seen guitars laying around my house with my grandma playing and my uncle so. This band has opened up a lot for me. Um, it's led me to have new experiences. I've traveled. Um, I've learned what it's like to record and play shows. And I made a lot of new friends and it's been awesome. Never really settle for less and just kind of shoot for what you want. I was just thinking to myself, like, you know, other people, anybody can do this, but it's just the first step of actually putting yourself out there and actually going for it. Thanks for watching Young Alberni and helping me celebrate the talented teens within our community. If you know any teens that should be profiled, get a hold of me by my email. Until next time, I'm Kiara Collins with Young Alberni.